Yo, 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 that dude, Deshaun Watson, man. First of all, play the game. I play the game. I caught like the entire second half of the game. I tuned in. Bills were leading 16 to 0. And I was like, is what's happening with the Texans? It's not like the Texans are a pushover team. You know what I'm saying? AFC South champs. They got good defense as always. They got Deshaun Watson and New Hopkins. Like, what's happening? Why can't they score? It was really a defensive slugfest. But was that one spark? I watched like the brief post-game interview with JJ Watt. He said all the team needs is a one spark. And he was the dude that gave it, man. He came up with a sack on uh, Josh Allen. The defense, the Texans defense started playing hard. And JJ Watt was like, listen, I wasn't the best defensive player for most of this decade in the NFL for no reason. He wants to have something to represent his decade of dominance in the NFL because the Texans ain't really ever had success in the playoffs. And I'm, it's, it's really nice to see them have success. You know what I'm saying? Not just JJ, not just, you know, the, t the tenured veterans on the team, but for also Deshaun Watson, who's in his uh, third or fourth year going on. He's going to be one of the future quarterbacks in the NFL, one of those dudes to represent the NFL for like 10, 15 years down the line. And we all know how talented Des Deshaun is. He probably didn't even hit his his peak yet, his, his ceiling. And it's nice to see him, you know, go forward as he is. It's also a good win for Bill O'Brien and, and the Texans because I'm telling you right now, the coaching staff, if the Texans had lost that game, there was a bunch of boneheaded decisions. They weren't down 16 points for nothing. There's a bunch of boneheaded decisions and terrible play calls that happened in this game. And I'm telling you, if the Texans lost, Bill O'Brien would have been fired on the spot. He would have been on the first bus out of Houston. Given that this was a home playoff game too, like, come on now, but... God, that was a good game, man. It was That's honestly probably like a classic. You know when you watch some games, especially in the playoffs, you, you, you usually get a, a good amount of average games, but every now and then, every now and then you'll get a really exciting game, one that comes down right to the wire. And, and that's what this was. And, you know, when you watch it, you see, you see the way that it ends. He got hit by two guys, spun out of it, ran all the way to the sideline, threw it to... um. Can't even remember who the receiver was, but they got down to the 10-yard line. Ka Kaimi, I'm sorry if I mispronounced his name, but Fairbairn, their kicker, nails the kick. Bill O'Brien says, I'm not taking any chances. Texans move on. Man, that was that's one way to end it right there. Almost like a movie ending. It was so boring in the first half. Defensive slugfest. One spark by JJ. Texans score. Another spark by the defense as a whole. Texans score. And then... Next thing you know, they scored 19 unanswered. The Bills, they said, we're not going down that easy. We did have the lead on you. Come back. They forced overtime. And then the Texans, like even overtime was entertaining. They both had a chance with the ball. Texans took advantage of their chances and they got down there, especially with that last play, man. That's play of the game right there. I don't even know if we're going to see a better play in the entire playoffs. That's you don't see that that often. You get hit by two guys, a quarterback, they usually go down, even if it is a mobile guy like Deshaun. I got to check out who they're playing next week. Let's let's check it real quick. I, I want to say Patriots, I mean um, Ravens, but it might be the Chiefs. Uh, if we look at AFC playoff pitcher, I want to say it's the Chiefs. Let's see. Websites loading. So it's going to be the Chiefs. Okay, it's going to be the Chiefs. Fourth seed versus second seed. So it's going to be the Chiefs versus Texans next week. And that's a that's honestly going to be a good game right off the bat because that's a matchup that everybody wants to see. Deshaun versus Patrick Mahomes. Same draft class. Really similar players. Two guys that honestly are going to be compared for, for to each other for the rest of their careers because of how they similarly they play, how talented they both are, and the fact that they came out the same year. You know, there's conversations out there saying, you know, like, if Deshaun had Patrick Mahomes' team, would he have done as good as Patrick Mahomes or better, and vice versa? If Patrick had Deshaun's Texans team, would he even be making it to the playoffs? Because let's be honest, other than the defense, the Texans are not that good. They have a terrible offensive line, and they got Nuke Hopkins. That's about it. You know what I'm saying? But that's my just, you know, real quick video. I'm, I think I'm going to make some quick videos for these playoff reactions. But this was really nice. Um, Texans versus Chiefs. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the Texans because I want to see Deshaun succeed, y'all. I want to see him get farther in the playoffs. I'm out. You're.
Alright guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yer.